Hey everyone, Pete here. Now I've got a little project on the go um, and if you're like me I've got a problem with storing little bits and bobs like screws, fastenings, fixings, you name it. I've got different type, types of organisers housing them all. I've got this top, heck I've even got some kitchen Tupperware tubs. I've got some of these fellas, these and even some little parts drawers. Um, I've had a look online and saw the prices of uh, how much a thin drawed system is and they're too much money so I thought I'll use the Root CNC to build my own cabinet to house parts drawers and I hope I'll use the 3D printer to actually 3D print the right size tubs. So come along with me and we'll go and make a parts drawer. Right, I'm somewhat cheating already because I've already tried and done a trial run on one of the drawers. Uh, as you can see, I've got some MDF, I've got some plywood, and I've got some menlene board to make up the frame as well. So this project's kind of using all up all of my offcuts up um, to try and make something usable out of them. Uh, sure, you can make it all out of the same material, but I'm just using what I've got to hand. Um, the actual the way it's gone together is quite simple. Uh, just some simple butt joints. Uh, around the corners uh, and it's just glued and tacked together nothing too fancy um, it's just mainly the glue holding it together so what I need to do is make five more of these drawers and make the frame that it sits in I've also gone and brought some standard draw slide rails from Screwfix they're 450 milli millimeters long and you can see them here and when I was picking these I wanted to make sure that they were the full uh, extendable ones uh, I wanted to be able to reach the parts in the back of the drawer when it's fully extended. I didn't want the three quarter um, length drawers. So hopefully that will sit on the side and extend backwards. All right, let's crack on. Assembling the drawers is pretty simple. All we're going to do is make sure we've got our two side pieces facing forwards. And to do that is just double check that the mounting holes line up with the rails. Uh, it's going to be mainly fixed with glue and then uh, tacked together with some brad nails that are 25 millimeters long and they just get tacked in the side. So what I'm going to do is glue this one up and get it assembled uh, and then I'll fast forward through the rest of the process. One thing to note before fitting these is just make sure they do fit into the uh, butt joint. I had one, the previous drawer was a bit tight so I had to just sand the edge back a little bit and it went in fine. Thank you. 
Taking the side panels, we now want to uh, put the uh, facial strips on these. Now this is done via the iron, and they're just iron-on strips that we can trim off the excess. So it's only the sides that need it. So just all four, round all four edges on this one, and on the mirrored side, and then we can start assembling it. Now we just need to fix this to the side. So hopefully I can make some sort of arrangement. Haven't worked out how to do this just yet, but we'll find out. So the bit will sit on top of that. So a lot's gone on since you last saw. I've installed the rails uh, for the drawers and done a test fit. I've subsequently painted them off camera because you don't want to see paint dry anyway. And uh, in the process of uh, making this, it turns out it's quite heavy. So what I've gone and done is brought some of these fellas that I'm going to fix to the side just so if I need to move it in the future, I can just pick it up easily. And then, yeah, once that's done, I think it's pretty much ready. The painted, uh, the drawers are already painted, ready to go in. And I've got the 3D printer on, printing some tubs to go inside. So that's not done yet, but there's plenty of more printing to do. But yeah, that's the inside right now. And uh, yeah, same again on this side and the carry handle. So these are the drawers, uh, they've been uh, paint sanded, lightly sanded back and um, painted with some water-based paint and then put some clear varnish on. I think it was a satin finish, another water-based product. Um, dries quick and needs a nice tough finish. So this was never supposed to be perfect, it was just using up scrap bits of wood I had lying around. So take it with a bit of salt, but yeah, it looks good. The dry fit worked perfectly. So now just time for the final assembly. First things first, I've only um, put a couple of screws in here, just hold them in place. Um, surprisingly, screw fix doesn't give you enough screws to mount all the rails with all the mounting holes. So there's three mounting holes on each part. Well, there is more, but it seems like three were sensible. And uh, yeah, screw fix don't provide enough screws for that. So I brought some extras, I'll get them in and then get the drawers in. I managed to 
forget that I actually pre-drilled some more holes in these uh, rails. So I was actually put, I was able to put more than three screws in here. There's actually uh, one, two, three, four, five screws holding each rail in. So they were already pre-drilled via the CNC. So they're all spot on. Uh, I can forgot about them, but whilst I was there, I put the extra screws in. Now it's time to fix the rails on the drawers and get them in. So this is the finished article. Some uh, I've still got some pots on on the printer that I'm printing, all different sizes and they fit in a grid arrangement. So. I've got a lot of printing to do. I don't think I've got enough for one drawer just yet. And once they're printed, I'll get them uh, all labelled up of all the different bits and bobs I've got. This should be more than enough for what I need now. I'll grow into it, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, for my first kind of furniture project, it's come across, come together quite well. So on the frame alone, the improvements could have been uh, making this top and bottom piece slightly wider. Um, I measured the rails uh, as they were and I've modelled them but clearly my build of the drawers they might be a millimetre or so slightly wider and that's made the particularly this top rail slightly tight. Now it's not a problem it works fine but I think it would have worked much better if I gave myself maybe a millimetre or two on this top piece like the middle one runs perfectly fine and you can see what I mean by having the full extent drawers I can actually reach uh, items at the back of the drawer without it being half in half out so with these rails I can access everything at once so this is the finished article uh, I finally got it installed all the parts that I need printed and uh, my parts organised inside. So we'll take a look at it. So what I've done is split it into M3, M4, M5, M6, M8, M10 and maybe some Imperial stuff and then random bits and bobs at the bottom. So yeah, as you can see, everything works as intended, nice and smooth. All the tubs you see are 3D printed. And yeah, this uh, I haven't filled it up entirely. Uh, there's growing room, and I've kind of provisioned empty spaces for where I'm expecting fixings to go. For example, the uh, M5s, as you can see, there's some empty tubs. I'm sure they'll get filled up eventually. So that's the finished piece. If you're interested in making your own one, please see the uh, video description below and check out the links. And if you like the CNC machine that actually made it, and you want to make your own, this is a Route 4 CNC. And if you want to make your own, the files are free to download on Thingiverse and GitHub. Again, check the video links below. And uh, stay tuned for the 3D printer that you saw printing the tubs. That's dubbed Route Print, and then files will be available shortly. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to make your own, please check the video descriptions. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.